My favourite thing about Christmas is hanging out at my house, watching movies, having the Christmas tree up, having everyone come round, drinking things you drink at Christmas like port. You wouldn't ever drink any other time of year. I like the idea of doing this film because I wanted to see Jim Broadbent play Santa Claus. That was a real treat. And also it was a great music opportunity. I, I, I like writing those kind of large scale symphonic scores. <laughs> I went up to the set of Get Santa. They were filming it up in Leeds, where I met Chris Smith, the director, for the first time. It's always fun visiting a set. Suddenly you're in the world of the movie, and, and that's a great experience, and that's also an initial source of inspiration. Chris wanted this magical, symphonic-type score, and, and so we, uh, we set about uh, making that happen. The trills in the violins felt too short. I wonder if we should just try doing minims. Or, or, or maybe just dotted, dotted maybe dotted crotchets. crotchets, yeah. I went back to original classical sources to try and help create this magical Christmassy world. For example, the, the winged messenger from, from the planets is uh, inspired the music for the letters and um, a lot of the sparkly orchestration, use of Celeste and, and, and chord progressions were taken from Tchaikovsky's Nutcracker. Oh. Are you the real Santa? Oh, well, yeah. The score is, is very thematically constructed. There's a theme for the little boy, there's, there's a theme for the dad who's an ex-convict, and the letters have a motif or a type of orchestration as they're flying through the air. And Santa Claus has, has got a theme. His theme was quite complicated to write because it needed to do two things, because throughout the film you're not sure whether he's just an old man pretending to be Santa Claus or whether he really is Father Christmas. So I needed a theme that could play him as an old man and could play him as uh, in all his glory as Santa. The instrumentation really helped for, for when he was not being Santa, just being an old man in prison, we played him on bassoon. And then when he's being Father Christmas, he's played on French horns, which is a, just a typically heroic and grand instrument. <laughs> I always enjoy doing Christmas films, and in fact, generally children's, children's films, it's good fun. To create the atmosphere, you don't need a lot of sleigh bells to make it feel Christmassy. It's a very strong flavour, so you just need a small amount. The score's covered in sleigh bells, you're never going to get bored of jingling away with the sleigh bells. <laughs> 